Okay. By uh, popular demand, I have decided to make a redo on this uh, on this video. Uh, how many views did the last one get? Like four thousand views, I think. So uh, yeah. So with that, I'm redoing this. Pay 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 no mind to 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 that thing over there. I'm very limited on space. So, uh, in my last, uh, video, I was basically sort of just, like, roasting people who wear these, and roasting people who wear these, but for this video, I want to provide more of a comprehensive take on both of these options, and the practicality, and just compare them, and just give my overall thoughts. So... First off, we have the singlet. Um, this singlet I used in my uh, first video, and then this singlet I got my senior year of uh, high school. Uh, so, first off, the, uh, the singlet, I believe, originated in the 60s, if not the 50s, I'm not sure, uh, because people were getting... Uh, staph infections and skin infections because before that they were just wearing tights with trunks over them um and they were getting skin infections on their upper body so the ncaa and the nfhs regulated uh the singlet which is comprised of multiple different materials different schools use different materials this one is a uh, polyester uh, and it's and the good thing about this one is that it conforms to your body type. Um, so even though I'm technically a large, this thing still fits me, even though it's a medium because it's polyester, it can stretch out. This thing, on the other hand, this is a medium uh, as well, and it's made out of like this fibrous material. And this thing does not stretch; it provides no flexibility whatsoever. I hated wrestling in this thing because. It, uh, cause it just, it did not mesh well with me. Um, and some singlets are like that, others aren't. Um, so, uh, basically the point behind the wrestling singlet was to, uh, without getting too graphic, uh, imitate the naked body. And make, uh, and also make sure that people couldn't grab stuff like fabric and all that stuff for leverage. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the singlet. Uh, over here, we have the shirt and shorts. The shirt and shorts actually got its start in Kentucky, I believe, during the 2016-2017 season. Uh... And then implement, implemented in the NFHS and the NCAA 2017-2018 season. Um, and the compression shirt and shorts was sort of born from the uh, uh, MMA craze. Because uh, the shorts look like MMA shorts. But, once again, that goes back to the whole staph infection thing. Well, how do we solve that? Compression shirt. Also, for people who aren't that comfortable in their body, you know, can wear this. Or, or, they can just, uh, or like, they just want something different, you know, something other than a, 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 a garb. So, um, yeah, so, so, this, so... Like com comparing comparing the two, you know, th th this is a this is a, a a singlet and this is a some people call it a doublet because it's two piece, um. Which is better? Which is worse? I'm not going to get into that. Uh, I just wanted to make an update video on this topic since it's so popular, and I just wanted to revisit the topic. So, uh, yeah.